All right, hi YouTube. This is video three of three. On the first video, I talked about how you could tell the difference between a 12 valve um, Cummins if you had the international head and block opposed to the Dodge head and block. Um, video number two, I talked about the difference between a 47 RE and a 47 RH Dodge transmission. This is video three of three, so what I'll be talking about is hooking up an Arduino um, chip pretty much to power the fourth gear and the uh, torque converter lockup. Um, pretty much overdrive and torque converter lockup. They do have a standalone computer where you can do it. You have per potentiometers where you got to uh, twist it, and once it gets to the right speed, you set it, and then it'll allow your fourth gear to lock up, and then you can buy another one and do that for the torque converter lockup. Now, the issue with that is it requires two um, units, or you can buy a very expensive uh, six $700 standalone computer for it. I think that's overkill. A lot of people don't want to spend the six $700, so what they end up doing is they, uh, they hook them up to toggle switches. Now, for... Um, somebody that's going out to the track or somebody that's goofing around with it, by all means, yeah, that's cool. But, uh, for me, that's going to be unpractical. I want something to turn on by itself and I want it to shut off by itself. I want to hook up a light so I know when my fourth gear is on and I want to, um, set it up to where I have a toggle switch to allow me to override my torque converter lockup or my overdrive. Uh, so if I'm pulling a heavy load, I can shut them off. And with that being said, the programming it myself is going to be uh, pretty easy. I've programmed a fuel injection sand rail, so uh, this I don't think will be that big of a deal. While I'm already programming it, I'm going to be programming um, the Adreno to also, also control a stepper motor for the speedometer and control a digital readout for my odometer. Um, I'm going to be touching base on a lot more videos of doing this. Uh, that the controllers where you can control the fourth gear and the uh, torque converter lockup, you have to buy it twice. It's $215, so the cheapest you can get out on this if you buy both of them standalone computers that I've found. I don't know if there is a cheaper place, but I've been looking for a while. Um, the cheapest that you can get out is uh, $430. So me knowing that I'm going to have to do a speedometer anyway. And I was planning on programming that. And then the standalone computers really just kind of tipped me over to do it. So it all runs off the same signal wire. And I can get it, get everything I want with one signal wire going into the board. Um, I will have to more than likely change the signal going to it. Depending on if the Adreno can handle it or not. It just depends on what the output of the transmission is. Um, the signal off the output of the transmission, depending on if it's a square wave or a pulse wave. My guess is it's more than likely a square wave signal, which will probably fall at negative, and I, the Arduino can't handle that. So if that is the case, then what I'll have to do is I will have to convert that wave to a different wave um, format so the Arduino can handle that. But the... Um, that's for future videos. Um, if you guys have any questions, maybe you want me to touch base on how to figure out what um, signal you got in that stuff, or you want me to go more in detail on something, please uh, feel free to comment, and I will do my best to reply to all of them. Thank you.